tonight. They have the line of Logan Drevich, Tyler Irvine, and Chase Greesock. Greesock's their leading returning scorer at 11 goals last year. Now the Lakers move the puck out. Humitz dumps it up in behind. The goal to the corner after it go. The defenseman for the Warriors trying to move that puck ahead is Dockery. He couldn't get it out. The Lakers steal it away down in the corner. Throw it to the slot. Humans had to go off his stick. Now the puck back on the blue line. Merrimack trying to make a move there. Good spin move right there by Carlisle. Now Declan Car Carlisle put it right in front. The Lakers break that up, but they fail to get out. Good job at the blue line by Merrimack. But now the Lakers grab the loose puck, and away they come. Back to center with it, trying to get in Ambrosio. Goes down behind the goal. Here's Miro Muka getting his first shift of the night. He's got the puck out near the line. Gives it off to the team, and they score right from the blue line. And the Lakers take the lead, and it's Mitch Oliver who fired that puck from the blue line. Second penalty against the Lakers tonight. Erickson in the box. Lakers steal the puck and then lose it. The elect couldn't get it out of the zone. It's cleared up behind the goal. After it, back of the net app goes Kramer. Now Kramer played it to the blue line and letting it come out the center is Dennison. Now back to make the play here is Height. Height plays it off a stick into the zone. Patrick Kramer had a poke at it, knocked it up behind the goal. Three Sox got it. They skating five aside for another half a minute here. Good job by Merrimack. Long shot in traffic, broken up. Here's another chance and they score right up over the shoulder. And Chase Greesock, you don't want to let him pick up the puck in front of the net, and he did right there. Good job of getting away from uh, from scrums, coming away with the puck. Winning the puck battles. Yep. Now the puck cleared ahead by the Lakers, intercepted by Merrimack. They get back in there again, harassing his man as Humitz, but the puck went right to the Laker player. Calder now winds up and fires one off a stick a mile into the corner. And that's the end of the first period. So the One. teams are playing five aside. They were five aside when Greesock tied the game. It's 1-1 here. Now Merrimack wins the draw and controls the puck back into its zone, trying to set up now. They'll have the power play. They've got the player back now. And Merrimack goes the other way. Back to cover up is Yuki, but he couldn't get out. Here's a shot blocked in front. I don't know if Mitten's got a piece of that or if it was the defenseman, but it was a good play defensively by the Lakers. And the Lakers have picked up loose pucks about three times in this period and then turned it right over up in the offensive zone. Now they throw it right in front, and Erickson scores. He had two cracks at it. He banged the first one off Hutima, the goaltender, and the second one up in the top of the net. And the Lakers regain the lead. Now Humitz lost it, getting in there, trying to take a shot was Nordquist. Now he's caught up ice, and away goes Merrimack the other way. And the pass intended in front by Irvine for Greesock was intercepted. Now the Lakers couldn't get it out, though. It's held in. Carlisle throws it in front, trying to hit the net with one through traffic, but it went off somebody wide. Back of the goal dug out now by Irvine. He throws it right in front, and they've scored, I believe. I think that was in before the net moved. They Three threw it right again. in front and tied the hockey game. 2-2. Two -two. Game now, oh. nine minutes to play. Now back to center with the puck. The Laker defenseman drops the puck right there. Now it's brought ahead by Violette over to Nordquist. Cutting right in, scores! What a play by Jacob Nordquist. He's a very, very good offensive defenseman. Now the Lakers take over, and Erickson brings it back. He flips it in, goes after it himself. Erickson's got a goal tonight. He goes back in the goal. Now he's still got to play it to the defenseman, and shot scored! Bounced in. I think it was Sackleman who shot it. He'll probably get the goal. And the Lakers take a 4-2 lead. What a like you said, it bounced off somebody. It just happened it might be Yuki. Here's a shot just wide right from the draw. They nearly made it 4-3 there as Tavernier, one of their dangerous offensive players, just missed the Laker net. 4-2 after two. That is 435 will be on the air with the pregame. Now the puck controlled by Merrimack, and they've won a lot of draws tonight. Now intercepted by Sackleman, and then he turned it over trying to make a pass. Now it's cleared in Just deep wide. One thing Merrimack's done a good job at tonight is getting second shots at that net. That one right there just missed, making it 4-3. Now the Lakers pick it up. They bring it back in. Oliver put it right in front of the goal, trying to make a pass. There was Max Humitz. He had a man open. 
That was Badone, but he couldn't get it to him. Now Max shoots and he scores. Well, you can't give Max Humas that shot right there. Side of the net. He just ripped it by Hudala, or Udama. And now it's cleared right back in again by Merrimack. They're relentless anyway. They're playing hard for their coach here tonight. It's 5-2 Lakers. Now here's Nordquist playing it across. Humitz dives, but he couldn't get it out. It came right back in front of the goal, and it went off the Merrimack player. Muka was down, and Calder brings it back the other way. Empty net, Calder getting in. Muka scores. They pulled the goaltender, couldn't hold it in, and Miro Muka gets the goal. I think that's his first collegiate goal. Now they bring it back in, trying to get wide this time. That's Grisak again. He's got both their goals tonight. Played it ahead, dumped up into the corner now by Ewens. They throw it right in front of the goal. Blue line, long shot blocked by Chase Gamlin. And the buzzer sounds, ending the hockey game. The Lakers get a 6-2 victory on the home ice. They outshoot Merrimack 30-29.